All right, so uh, TRW, um, I am playing uh, Edge of the Sword series here. Um, <clears throat> thought I would, uh, thought I definitely want to talk about this game, but then in addition to talking about this game, which I hope to get to, I thought I would go ahead and do a, I guess a roll-up video, hit some things that have been um, developing um, back in my mind over the last. I guess several weeks, uh, so hopefully I get to them all. Um, I guess to help me, I'm going to go hit. I'm going to hit some highlights first, some high points, and then and then hopefully I get to it all. Of course, of course. Um, this is a great little game and game series, and um, it took me a while to get into it. And um, and all, most importantly, I thought it was just a very, very well-developed, basic war game series. Um, I don't see that anymore. Uh, I, th I think that there's definitely more. I mean, it's not, not I'm not, you know, I don't want to overplay this point, but I think there is more. Uh, yeah, I, I would say there's definitely more here that, than I saw early on. And, and what I'm seeing now, finally, finally, really, um, I like so that's this game uh, then I was thinking about wargaming in general um, I had reason to think quite uh, quite extensively about wargaming military wargaming and in fact high-level DOD that's Department of Defense wargaming um, and, and I thought I'd go ahead and commit you know th these things by the way <laughs> Quite, is quite an amalgamation of uh, disparate disparate things going on here. Okay, but um, I did have a reason to think, uh, give some more thought to, I guess, I guess, um, how to th how to think about high level DoD war gaming. Um, let's see what, um, and then. Uh, Let's see. Um, oh yeah, of course. Um, what I'm doing. So I'll, I guess I'll go with three themes. Those are two right there. I'll go with a. I'll hit the highlight of a third theme, and then I'll get into this stuff a little, little bit more. Third thing is overall. Overall, what I'm doing here. Um, recently, I've had the. Um, recently, I've had the opportunity to think more about what I'm doing here with this with these videos. Uh, I guess with the channel. Um, and, okay, so, so now I guess I'll start with this last, uh, this third point. So the high, the highlight is I'm, I'm down to one solid reason or motivation for this. Um, and there is a, re a second point to make, although I don't consider it really a motivation. Um, and it's, um, you know, the one remaining motivation is um, still strong. And actually, frankly, I don't see this motivation ever going away. Actually, so I guess I'm. I guess I am um, <laughs> signaling that uh, that these videos, I guess this channel, will just keep going. Um, I don't really don't see an end to it. Of course, I don't see any big big point to it either. <laughs> which which I guess is what I'm going to get to. Okay, so this third point first. Um, when I started this channel, which is obviously so many years ago, um, clearly a clear, it is nice to have a very clear, um, video record of my wargaming. And again, since I started wargaming, since I started wargaming regularly in 2010, only in 2010, and really, and I really did not get into Hex and Counter Wargames really until a couple years after that. Really, 2012, um, and then this channel started whenever I don't remember when it started. But I mean, I don't, don't think that. Basically, if I take my hex encounter wargaming back history um, back to 2012, then really the channel is is a large chunk of my uh, experience with this with this gaming format. Okay, 
But when I started the channel, I had, I remember I had four or five really strong, robust, um, compelling <laughs> reasons for the channel. And they've all fallen by the way. I mean, they've all but one fallen, fallen by the wayside, just fallen away. Um, and I've talked to just a couple of people over the last couple of years about this whole thing. Um, and, uh, and, and that is how I like to say it. I mean, I had these four or five really compelling reasons and one by one, those reasons just fell away. They, they, they weren't that compelling. They, things didn't work out how I thought they would. They just fell away. I'm, I know I'm not, I'm not going to go into what those, but there are four or five distinct compelling reasons. I'm really just down to one. Um, keeps me going though. It's, it may be one, but it keeps me going. All right, let me talk about the other one first, though, which I do not, it's, it's a point to make, but it's not a, I, it's not a motivation for me at all. I should clarify. Um, so let me talk about this point first, and then I'll get to the final motivation that keeps me going here. So the point is, I, I think, I think that with, with the internet, with digital media, with, uh, I guess with, with cyberspace, um, I think all war gamers should record, just just record as much of their war gaming as possible, and it's it's not necessarily to be entertaining, but the way I see it, and of course this is not very realistic, but I wish as many war gamers as possible out there could record as much of their war gaming as possible, and then all that digital record, um, I, I wish it would could all flow into a archive and so that down the road in the future we can look at this this activity um, and maybe see different different things um, use the record of this activity in different ways um, but um, it, I mean that is what I what I would like to see um, you know I'm, I'm thinking about um, finally getting into, um, I should say I'm starting just now starting to think about dipping my toe in the whole great battles of the American civil war series, very old series, gone through multiple generations of design. There's, there's reading about it online in general, which is, which is great, very meaningful. There's the Consim world forum exploration of GBACW alone. That's meaningful and worthwhile but I also just as important I go I go to the internet and I try to find videos and of course there are videos out there which is great um, but I look for those videos I want to I want to see people playing it I want to hear what they have to say about it in a multimedia format but really there's not a lot of any I'm maybe ASL has I'll say and this is just off the top of my head ASL has has what could be called maybe a good amount of content and certainly miniatures but of course miniatures miniatures is a different kind of uh, you know kind of activity but miniatures generally speaking you definitely have a meaningful amount of content but but flip side is let's let's be honest I mean there are good games um, this series by the edge of the sword has just a few videos. Um, so anyways, uh, uh, so that's the point. Um, I just believe in, and would like to see, um, a lot more content and really just content collected, um, archived, um, and just made available. But anyways, that I don't consider that a motivation that would not, that alone would not motivate me to, to do this, but Okay, now let's get down to the last one. Of course, it's, it's blindingly obvious. Making the videos keeps me playing. And it's as simple as that. Making the videos keeps me playing. Um, and, and that really is... Uh, um, that, that really is a good, a good motivation. Um, okay, so, yeah, the DoD Wargaming. Um, so... Uh, a few weeks ago, um, I uh, 
So a few weeks ago, a major, not only a major, but the number one, the, the number one as in the top um, Department of the Army um, war game uh, wrapped up. Um, by the way, this video, my videos come out months after they were made. So when I say a few weeks ago it wrapped up, it's by the time this comes out, it will really be five months uh, earlier. So um, if you're looking for, well, actually I'll say is this is um, midsummer. This is midsummer now, and a couple weeks ago, the number one Department of the Army uh, war game wrapped up. Um, and I say wrapped up because it's, uh, you know, the, the war game itself is, is, is two weeks. And, and then that war, two week war game is a culmination of a year long process of multiple, um, you know, multi-day events. Okay. So it wrapped up. I was there to, uh, I was there to observe. I did observe, uh, the wrap up of it the last few days. Um, uh, but as I was leaving, I mean, it was a pretty good, it was a pretty good event. Uh, but as I was leaving and not, I guess, as I was driving away, um, I was thinking, what would a war gamer think of it? And I mean, I can't, I, hands down, I cannot find a war gamer. I cannot think of a war gamer finding anything of value in this at all. And yet it's such a huge event involving so many hours of, of so many people's effort. Um, so effort wise, it's a huge thing, a huge deal. And yet to a war gamer, it's essentially nothing. But really, why is that? The point is when we get right down to it, these war games like by the edge of the sword here, um, there's still there's still an entertainment component to it, and essentially with the do with the Department of the Army war game, <laughs> um, with the top level uh, Department of the Army war game, there's zero entertainment component, and so that's the difference. Um, but but more than that, obviously the the Department of the Army war game I'm talking about is for, you know, serves different purposes. And I'm just saying this because we would, we should not expect, we should not expect Department of the Army War Game, you know, first level, top level, to be like a war game for this, for this um, pastime, and vice versa. Okay. Um, it was kind of, it was, it was, validation for me that a Department of the Army war game, at least not at the top level, is just, it's never going to approach. It's not a question of people working to have the top level Department of the Army war game converge with, you know, converge with OCS, you know. It's not a matter of them converging. They're never going to converge because they're on different paths that don't intersect. All right. Enough of that. I mean, that's that. Um, and, and, um, and of course, I, no, the first one was this game. Yeah, By the Edge of the Sword. Um, so this is interesting. So my experience here with By the Edge of the Sword proves or, or, or reinforces the idea that um, if something doesn't work the first time, if you keep trying, you might actually get to, get to where you want to go. So I have... Uh, I've had so many false starts with this series before. And I think now I see what's going on, which is really interesting because I did not see it before uh, at all from the beginning. And again, I thought I thought this was a just a, a, a simple and yet very nicely developed, very nice looking, um, fully developed rule set, fully developed in, in, in game development terms uh, uh, of a basic simple, war game. But now I see there actually is more to it, and it's it's very, um, it's a pleasant surprise. And I think I'm going to zero in on one thing that kind of is symbolic of what I'm talking about, and that is with my experience of war games, especially over the last couple of years, I'm really, I'm really looking for games to have a, a, a good, developed, attritional um, element. So I'm really 
basically, to put it more blunt, I'm looking for strength markers or strength rosters. I'm looking for multiple strength levels, whether they're strength levels or they're termed something else. But multiple, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 or more, you know, levels of, you know, strength, readiness, uh, morale, whatever you want to call them. But um, I want to see that that erode erosion of power, um, and in some cases, resurgence of power, whatever the game, however the game implements that. Um, that's really what I'm looking for. And when I saw this at first, I did not see this at all. So I looked at the, the, the game and I said, hmm, no strength markers, no rosters, no what I thought was no gradual degradation of, of, of power because even the flip sides, I thought, because the flip sides are not half strength, um, I was thinking, oh wow, you don't even have full strength, half strength, or full step, half step, or whatever you want to call it. You, I thought you don't even have that. But now I see actually that um, in an otherwise pretty simple um combat system although it's very nice when i say simple it's a it's a nice simple but uh that aside now i see that the design takes a different approach when you have you know fresh and fatigued versus you know uh, good morale um, discouraged and routed when you put those together and yeah when you put those together you get, in effect, um, a few levels of strength, um, which, which is nice. And it's like, oh, okay. And so I take that, couple with it, great, you know, physical presentation. Um, add to that, um, <clears throat> full, full leaders, you know, command range alternating formation activation all those are all generally good things for me in my mind um add on to that a, a little novel um turn order um mechanic yeah it's it's it it has more than i think it's whatever eight nine ten pages of rules um uh, lets on and take all of that, mix that with a well-developed rule set, well-developed series. Yeah, it's, it's very good. And it's and I'll just end off with this. I'll, I'll end off this video uh, with this. I think that this series um, deserves to be. I think every you know every war gamer should have a couple, at least a couple of the titles in this series. In their collection, and I think it deserves to be played regularly. Um, yeah, and I, th I think it deserves a permanent place in the collections of all war gamers. Um, now, that endorsement doesn't mean that much. I you know I'm not an old-time war gamer, but but yeah, I'll go I'll go ahead and say that I can see now why it makes sense to have. Um, I mean, I, I don't think that. I don't think you need to be a completist and have every title in the in the series um, unless you like that, unless you really like the theme that much. Um, but yeah, I think all war gamers should have a couple of titles um, in their on their shelves. Um, it's it's that good. It's that pleasing. It's 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 a good, solid, pleasant um, design uh, that I think can be can be enjoyed. Uh, over and over and, and into the long term. Um, 